Simulator is the newest game from Terabyte Games, who has made the lovely games such as Barbie Battles, which was a really fun game, so this should be great. I love this guy already. Tutorial, jump into the ocean and automatically get into your boat to sell your trash, bring it over to the cell area and feed it to the talking trash monster. I right, honestly, I'm gonna skip the tutorial and just figure it out and have many questions for later. One really cool thing about this game is it says that for the first week, they're donating 100% of the earnings up to $50,000 to Feeding America. So this game is also for a great cause. Now is when I inevitably wish that I had watched the tutorial, but we'll be fine. We'll figure things out. Oh, look at my boat. Oh, you know, we're just cleaning up tons and tons of pounds of trash from the ocean. Can I pick up these bigger pounds of trash? Oh, I can. You should upgrade your boat. Look, I just started, okay? Honestly, the best part about them donating money to charity from this game is I get to spend tons of Robux and not feel bad about it. My boat is full. Look at all this room where trash could go. So when your boat fills up with trash, you come on over here and you sell it for as many coins as you possibly can. And then you can use that money to buy upgrades for your boats and stuff. What is the best boat in the entire game? Okay, it looks like we have to unlock zones before we can actually access these boats. Okay, let's go back over here. So you could spend your money over here, your hard-earned cash that you actually worked for, or if you're like me and you wanna donate money to charity, you can just drop 800 Robux without feeling bad about it super easily. Oh my gosh, look at this boat. How much trash can I hold? This boat does not have any upgrades. Its strength is based on your highest current boat. Oh. Well, that's not entirely what I had in mind. This is a Roblox simulator, so of course they do have pet eggs that you can hatch, and it looks like, is that a flamingo? I can't tell, something is really, really rare here. I'm gonna go ahead and open one of these and see what kind of pet I get. Hey, I got a stork! I got a rare pet off my first hatch? There's 145 pets in this game, and we have to obtain every single one of them. This is the one I just got. Oh my goodness, look at these pets for 2,000 Robux. Oh, wait, this is one egg, so you get a chance of getting this star one right here. Or, if you're super lucky, you can get this one right here. 2,000 Robux for charity. Boost your pet luck for 20 minutes. Okay, so it's 2,100 Robux is the cost of this pet. All right, here we go. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. 2,000 Robux to charity, guys. Remember, this is all about charity. This has nothing to do. Oh, I got the star bright. I did not get the rare one. So I can go ahead and equip my stork and my rare pet. And oh, look at him following me. We are going to collect so much trash together, family. I mean, while I'm here, I might as well just go ahead and donate some more money to charity, right? Oh, what's that? An opportunity to donate money? Don't mind if I do. Now that I'm VIP, I get access to the VIP egg rewards. You don't have enough coin. Oh, so it's a, oh, okay, I see. Well, I'll go ahead and take this though. All right, trash monster boat is cool and all, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and try and upgrade my current boat so that we can actually, or I could buy this lifesaver because I have enough coins now that I'm VIP. So I'll go ahead and take that. And then this will be the boat that we go ahead and upgrade. So let's see what we can do with upgrades. Upgrade boats. Oh, we can just continually upgrading it. I'll be right back. All right, I've gotten some more money and we're just gonna upgrade our boats as many times as it will physically allow us to do it. So what did that do? We can now hold 308 pounds of trash. Not bad for a little raft. Oh my goodness, I just busted through the trash and now I'm in a new area. I was just thinking about how I'm supposed to go into the new areas. This is awesome. So I have an idea. I'm going to upgrade my boat as many times as I can with all the trash that I just, oh, I max upgraded it. Oh, look at this boat, it looks so cool. So we probably just honestly need to go buy a new boat. It looks like the best boat we can buy right now is the Pink Fiery, which is 6,500 coins. But what I wanna do is equip this boat that automatically gives me the coins. Okay, I changed my mind. This is not worth it at all. This is so slow. All right, I've gotten 10,200 coins. This should be enough to buy the most expensive boat in this area, 6,500. I also got enough coins to hopefully be able to upgrade this boat quite a bit. I don't think it's gonna go all the way to max, but it should go pretty far. Okay, this boat is incredible. When I was going through these things earlier, I was going at like two miles an hour. How much money are we gonna get for this? Just $1,000 every time we go to sell, not too bad. Okay, now can I fully upgrade this boat? Let's see, level three, it is maxed out already. I love this. And I think we can go through the next world now. 
Yes, we can. What are straws? Look at all this stuff. Where, where do I sell? Is this sell? Before we do anything, I want to go to the boat shop and see how much money we need for the most expensive boat. 20,000 coins? That's going to take us like two minutes. Oh, look at that. 20,000 coins already. <laughs> what a coincidence. Oh my gosh, this new boat is incredible. Oh yeah, we can even go into the next area. Chocolate, unopened chocolate bars? Why are people throwing unopened chocolate? chocolate bars into the ocean and just candy where do i sell here hello trash man i'd like to sell my trash please now that we're in the new area of course we gotta go see what kind of boats we can buy so it looks like we need forty-five thousand coins for the nautical line boat so my current rate of coins with the multiplier, of course, is approximately 8,000 coins per load of trash. I don't think it's going to take very long to afford that boat. I should probably update this boat all the way first, though. Ah, there we go. Something that I haven't really been focusing on this entire time is getting the new eggs every time I go to an area. I think this would help speed everything up quite a bit. So let's go ahead and toss on a multiplier and open some of these eggs and see what we get. We got a normal. Well, at least the money went to a good cause. <laughs> something good, something good, something good. Yes, a shiny. Oh, we got a shiny? We got a shiny eco starfish? Now that we have new pets on board, let's see how many coins we get when we sell our trash. Well, that's pretty good. And just like that, we can afford the nautical lime. Go ahead and upgrade this one all the way to max and head into the next area. Looks, <laughs> looks like we got toilet paper and plates. Toilet paper, plates, and cardboard boxes. But you know, the trash sells for quite a bit of money in here, which is really good. And the most expensive boat here costs 100,000 credits. That shouldn't be too hard. Actually, two minutes later, we have 102,000 coins. The nice part about this boat is the speed. It is really, really fast and is very, very strong. I love how my starfish pet just sits on the top right there. Where are my other pets? I don't even see my other pets. Ah, there they are. I'm gonna get an entire boatload of trash and I'm gonna see how much an entire boatload sells for. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about the eggs. Oh my gosh, 15,000 each. I still have two times pet luck. It's not quite an entire boatload, but it was 10,000 pounds of trash and it should get us a ton of money, at least enough to buy a few eggs to try and get some rare pets. Just a measly 115,000 coins. Not that big of a deal, right? That's not, that's not that much. I might as well upgrade my boat too while I'm here. I upgraded my boat so much that I can't even see anymore. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at this thing. All right, we have 100,000 coins to go buy some eggs. Let's buy, um, I guess these are the less rare ones. So let's just buy the rare ones so that we can get good ones. Please, something good, not a common. Oh, there we go, an eco seal. Oh my gosh, this seal is so cute. An epic sea lion. I'll take an epic sea lion. Are there legendaries and mythicals in this, I wonder? Legendary eco walrus. Oh my gosh, imagine if that one was shiny. I don't know what the shiny one would be different, but that's incredible. We got a legendary. So it looks like the question mark one might be a mythical. Another one. What? Give me something mythical. Give me something good. Okay, honestly, I think the entire eggs are just filled with these legendary eco walruses. They're better than this exclusive pet that I bought from the beginning, but honestly, I'm okay to have it because it's really cute. Now me and my walrus army, plus a starfish, can go and take over the trash world and collect every single piece of trash in this ocean. Okay, now I wanna see it with all the pets equipped and the two times multiplier and an entire boatload of the max boat, how much money are we going to get when we sell it? All right, 15,000 pounds of trash with some of the best pets in the game with the best maxed out boat in the last area. Let's see how much money this gives us. Oh, you know, just a solid 300,000 extra coins. No big deal. That's, that's nothing. You know, that's total chump change, right? So the last thing we need to do today is actually go over here and click this rebirth. It costs 100,000 coins to rebirth and it resets everything except for our pets. It resets our boats, our robots, which I don't even know what that means. It resets the areas and the coins. So I might as well buy a bunch of these pets before I rebirth. That way we have them after we rebirth. <gasps> Another shiny! It's a shiny eco seal. It's purple. Ah, oh, yes. I kind of figured this, but the shiny eco seal is now actually our best pet that we have. Well, there is officially only one thing left to do, and that is to rebirth, which basically means 
We have to start all over. We may have lost our boats, but at least we still have all of the friends we made along the way, including my two shinies, which I love dearly. Well, everybody, that is gonna do it for today's episode of Roblox Sea Cleaning Simulator. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you'd like to see me come back and play a bunch more of this game. Honestly, this is one of the best simulators I've played in a while. I'm super excited how much I like this. So let me know down in the comments and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.